before we get to more basketball, I did want to ask you about your uh, your pre media career because it's something that I don't think that we've talked about on this show at all. I was reading Uh-oh. your bio today. I saw that you were the national high school player of the year in Dude, football. He was sick. He was recruited in Notre yeah. Dame. Like you were the number one player in high school football in the entire country. Nineteen class of ninety six. Yep. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we have that long to talk about it. Um, we might change positions, peaked out, uh, injuries, lack of focus, <laughs> school, not a lot of discipline. Um, it, it, uh, it, a combination of a lot of things. But yeah, it, uh, you- I was a quarterback, wide receiver, safety in high school, and then um, I went to Stanford as a tight end. And the guys were better than me when I got there. I never played before, and. And guys were better than me. Were you, like, good enough in high school where people were dropping bags off for you? Were you getting recruited, like, no. the sneaky ways? No, no, no. Um, we never got to that point. Did have a couple, like, it was it was, um, it was, was right at the beginning of, like, caller ID. But, like, the old caller ID was, like, when you had the machine and it, you could tell it said the city under it. So it had the number and the city. So, like... There was these anonymous calls where you could tell it was coaches, but they were acting like shady, like, hey, is uh, anybody home? And I'm like, <laughs> what the heck is going on? It's like, uh, you know, I won't say the, college, the the hometowns of the colleges, but it was it was pretty funny to hear guys try and start beating around the bush, like trying just trying to get any inside information. Uh, but uh, it was it was a long time ago. Yeah, it was um, like, and it's there were no bags. There was no bags exchanged. Recruited at Notre Dame. Yeah, recruited Lou, at so, Notre Dame. So Lou Holtz would like call you up and be like, "Oh, this is a must be the wrong number. Wait, wait a second. Is this Steve Coughlin? Let me talk to you for a second. Well, well, Lou couldn't get away with it because of, because of the voice, and the only person that could do Lou Holtz is Scott Van Pelt. So I knew it wasn't Lou. He had people do that. Uh, but yeah, Lou. I mean, that was actually the year he ended up uh, going. Uh, and, and, and leaving, um, they, Notre Dame was in a mess. I could tell I went to camp there before my senior year and you could just tell the coaching staff was in disarray. Um, and Notre Dame was a lot older of a campus than I really wanted to be around. So, uh, that's why I didn't, I didn't really like it. I mean, if you had had your career as Notre Dame, Steve, you'd be the biggest douchebag ever and no one would ever (laughs) like having Notre Dame Steve on. I think, I think it'd have to be Notre Dame (laughs) Coughlin, right? Yeah. Just brutal. We we don't want Notre Dame mm. Steve on. 